hi. I'm glad you made it back. Decided to drop back in. Well, this video talks about fixing the green screen problem on the Compact Presario V6000 series. I'm just going to cover the basis before I tear down the laptop completely. That way you'll be covered. Um, what you need to have is a small Phillips screwdriver. It's, you should know that by now. Q-tip. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's soft, not the hard type. If you have ever an alcohol, even better. A small screw container. That way you can put your loose screws in. At least before you get into it, go to Radio Shack and buy some heat sink compound. I went online on eBay and bought some. It's fairly cheap. And there will be a video just link in the bottom or top or side, whichever they have it anymore, of the BIOS update that you'll have to do for this laptop in order to fix it. But I'm going to pause it here, tear down the laptop, and then the next time you see me back on here will be the laptop tore apart. And with my magical Bob Ross paintbrush, and after an hour or so of taking it all apart, this is what you get. This is the beauty of your problem. If you can see, let me try to line this up. This heat sink here is for your process. This heat sink here is for your problem lays. Once you clean that up, make sure you have your little heat sink compound. Plus you have your Q-tip to apply it. Then your problem will more likely go away. If, for whatever reason, making sure I don't trip over the screws and stuff and there's like a million screws. For whatever reason, you're unable to fix this by doing what we're doing now. It's simply because HP has failed to design a proper heating system or cooling system. The chip itself is much like this. A good example. You got a little, this is the Wi Fi card, so just say this is the chip. And the bottom of your chip, normally for a processor, you got all these thousands of pins. Well, on this special chip that they put on the motherboard, they have these soldered leads. Well, if your thing heats up, you all just solder them together, and you got one big solder brace. And it's, you just take this and Throw it away. It's, it's junk. But this is not the case for this one, I hope. I have a few more screws left to do, and I will get a better video area so you'll be able to see exactly what you're doing. Pay attention, and this is what I'm not doing. On your heat sink, it's got one, two, three, four, five, and it's in the order of how this goes. Make sure you take them apart, this is the way your numbers would go, as you would put them back together. Starting off with one, two, and three, four, and the last one you want to do is for the NVIDIA heatsink. Hopefully we'll see what our problem is right off the bat. And I have. Just so want to make sure that these are. They have a little plastic wafer um, washer on the back side. Now I see immediately what the problem is, and I'll show you. Immediately, this is what HP's problem was. This is the heat sink for the processor. You see all this silver stuff here? Yeah, that's your heat compound. 
You see over here, this little blue tab thing? This is what's supposed to be the heat sink for that. There's no goop. There's no heat sink transfer nothing. It's just a rubber piece of garbage that doesn't conduct heat good enough. That's why these things fail. The reason I say they fail, because they don't have nothing there, because there's nothing on the chip here. It's clean as a whistle. I cannot believe that. That's junk. I can't believe HP would put out junk and not have something worthwhile. So now that I'm confident that this thing is going to work after putting the heat sink compound, why don't you try it on yours? I'll get this all good back up. Put it back together after a million more screws and we'll show you the final video after I get this all set up. Oh, I forgot to say this. Apply the goop in the area that is not green. The chip itself, where you need to put the goop on, the little small square inside the big thing. Don't put it on top of the component. You're just going to screw yourself over. Same thing with your processor. Take and clean that off. It's all hard and dry and flaky. Clean that off with uh, grabbing alcohol. Just put it on a Q-tip. You know, your Q-tip. You know what a Q-tip is? Just clean it off. And re just paste your little compound thing on there. Maybe you want to put it on a smaller piece of cardboard because this stuff here is kind of liquidy. Put it on a piece of cardboard and just kind of stir it up. And get it a little thick and then apply it on there. Make it all nice and smooth. And once you get that done, button it all back up. And I can almost guarantee you, let's say this thing has already cooked itself out of proportion. You just fix your computer for ten dollars. Now it might have taken you three hours to do this, but you just fix your computer for ten dollars. All just because of them not putting heat sink compound. I'm gonna we'll fix this, we'll get it all put back together, and I'll show you after the break. Well, now you have your laptop back. Hopefully this works for you. It sort of worked for me. I still got some more issues to do with it, but it's worth a try. I got to work on it some more. I got some other ideas. Let me know in the comments box if this fixes your problem. I'll be happy to know that it did. Subscribe to my videos, and I hope you share it with other friends and continue to watch some of my other videos. I will be doing repair videos on TV, like that big guy back there. So, it'll be fun. Got another TV here that I'm working on. It's not a flat screen, but it's a Sony Uyghur. But, this is what I'm going to be doing with video repairs of electronics. So, tune in until next time. Thank you.